Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Tony Harding. I live in Centralia, Washington. Um, and I just uh, wanted to tell everybody about this really cool idea I have for raising money for charity. I'm uh, really passionate about this uh, charity called the Little Kids Rock Foundation. And what they do is they uh, raise money to buy instruments for uh, underprivileged children and they also raise money to pay for the salaries of music teachers so the schools don't have to cut their programs and everything and you know music is a very very important thing for our kids to be learning um, but so I, I had this really good idea um, a new distillery opened up in, in Centralia Washington about a year ago called Ezra Cox Distillery and uh, I've gone in there and I've made friends with them and we've come to a deal where uh, I could start designing uh, limited edition labels for their bottles um, it takes about 30 days to 45 days to get get the label approved by the state but after that you know we can we can run like a, a, a run of 115 bottles um, so my idea is to get like rock stars and sports stars and you know uh, just celebrities uh, in general to to like sit down and sign like a 115 labels and then we can we can take some and, and sell them on eBay or or through Amazon um, and then we could take some and auction them off uh, and then unfortunately the state says that the distillery has to make a profit off of it so um, yeah because they figure they need to get their cut um, but you know that's not a bad thing so basically what we have to do is we have to we have to pay for the pay for the alcohol um, and then all the proceeds after that we can go and uh, split it in thirds and what I'm wanting to do with this is I want to donate a third of the proceeds to the Little, Kid Rock, Little Kids Rock Foundation I want to donate a third of the proceeds to a charity of whoever signs the bottles choice and then, I, and then the other third would go to a, a charity that the distillery wants to donate to um, and of course, the the donations would go out in all of our names. So you know, uh, people uh, like like the celebrities would get a tax refund on it or or a tax write off, whatever the hell they call it. Um, and 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 so would the distillery, and and it, you know, it would just go to help a lot of a lot of people. Um, so yeah, that that's that's pretty much my idea. I think if we get the right people to sign these bottles, uh, it could really really make a lot of a lot of money for for these foundations and you know, it, it would just it just I think it's the thing to do. Uh, I'm I I'm not a drinking man. Uh, I haven't had a drink in almost 10 years and I don't really like the whole vibe of alcohol personally, but what I'm looking at here is I can take I can take a negative and turn it into a positive, and that's kind of something that I'm I'm really all about too. I I, I don't like negativity in my life, and and you know, that means if if there's a distillery in in my hometown, you know I want it to be the most positive distillery that that's on the market. So uh, this is just you know it's a good idea, and and you know if any of you think this is a good idea and, and you would be interested in helping along with it or anything like that uh, get a hold of me my email address is emeraldcityvisions at gmail.com I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to hear any of your ideas uh, also um, so yeah I, hopefully hopefully we can make some things happen and, and uh, change a lot of lives well thanks for listening bye